Tragedy is omnipresent in the wild, simply because animals must hunt and kill to eat, but that's how an ecosystem is fine-tuned. If you're curious about how predators hunt their prey, we have some amazing videos to show you, so sit tight because we're getting started. Come here, got it, got it. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Amazing, yeah? Number 15, hyena hunt topi. This topi is relaxing when a hyena sneaks up on it, but just when the hyena gets close, the topi reacts and tries to sprint away. The hyena manages to grab the topi and take it down, and when the rest of the clan arrives, the topi is in dire need of help, but it doesn't come. Just more reinforcements for the enemy show up, and it's all over in seconds. In this video, you can witness the cunning strategy of the hyenas in the Maasai Mara as they deceive unsuspecting topis in the savanna. With incredible patience and skill, these intelligent predators have learned to lull their prey into a false sense of security before pouncing. Their stealthy approach and lightning-fast reflexes make them a formidable force to be reckoned with in the wild. When a hyena grabs a young topi, both parents try to attack the scavenger, but all their attempts are futile at best, and when it's all said and done, the hyena walks away with the dead topi calf in its mouth. Number 14, Baboon Hunts Impala. This video of a baboon eating a Thompson's gazelle in Kenya might seem extremely violent and graphic, but these opportunistic animals regularly consume meat to get a boost of protein. They're not peaceful vegetarians at all. Young gazelles form a substantial part of a baboon's diet in this part of the world. This baboon is trying to kill another small gazelle, but when mom comes running, the baboons disperse. Another baboon snatches the little gazelle and runs away with it. Mom runs after the baboon, and he drops the baby once again. One of the baboons eventually takes the baby up into a tree and finishes it off. This time, a baboon captures a fawn and even bites some flesh off its back. The fawn's mother charges the baboon, who repels the mother by stretching out his arm and putting his hand in her face. Unfortunately, the mother is powerless to save her child from the clutches of this baboon. Number 13, Jackal Hunts Wildebeest. During a morning game drive in the Kapama Game Reserve, some tourists came across a newborn wildebeest that was either ill or too sick to get up. Nature took its course despite the mother wildebeest's best efforts to scare the jackals away. People who witnessed the incident later stated it was difficult to stand there and not intervene to save the young one. But that is what nature viewing is all about. It is about just standing there watching and letting nature take its course. These jackals snatched this baby wildebeest as soon as it was born. They were unable to kill it, and it was apparently stolen by a hyena that promptly killed and took it away. What happened to the mother during this entire ordeal? Normally, wildebeest mothers are fiercely protective of their young, but I'm guessing this one was distracted by the birds because she was nowhere to be found when her presence was required. A few jackals surround a mother wildebeest and her calf. Mom stands her ground and challenges the scavengers as she defends her calf, but the jackals are tenacious and don't let up. We don't see the outcome of the attack because the video cuts off, and this one is a difficult one to call, so it would have been nice to see the outcome. Number 12, Lion Hunt Zebra. A lion pride works together to take down a zebra, which is a risky endeavor since zebras are much larger than lions and can kill them with a kick of their hooves but the felines assault the zebra from all sides and evidently have them under control. This lioness takes a 300-foot lead as it tackles this zebra down, causing it to somersault over the zebra and flip over on its back before falling to the ground. Once the zebra is captured, the other members of the pride assist in the preparation process. Meanwhile, the cubs play around as they wait for their dinner. After taking a feisty zebra down, a few lions hold the animal down while one of them chokes it to death. The other two lions begin to eat the zebra while it's still alive and fighting to escape. But that's not going to happen. Number 11, Ethiopian Wolf Hunts Mole Rat. Ethiopia is a harsh, arid landscape where life has had to adapt to exist. This ancient country has nurtured life since the beginning of time, and beyond the parched deserts and defended mountains hide animals found nowhere else on the planet. Ethiopian wolves, one of the world's rarest predators, are among them. Each wolf hunts alone and brings its kill back to the den. 
Their territory is roughly 13 kilometers. Splitting the pack increases their chance of finding prey. This small rat makes the perfect meal, but he'll disappear underground at the first sign of danger. There is barely any cover for the wolf as he creeps closer. No luck this time, but it isn't his only opportunity. Tens of thousands of rats live in the wolf's territory, and he finds another target. This time, he doesn't miss and walks away with some lunch. Wildlife enthusiasts were delighted to witness this Ethiopian wolf successfully hunt his meal during their trip to the Barley Mountains. The Ethiopian wolf is an extremely endangered species with only about 500 of them left. Three out of five of these wolves are found on the Seneti Plateau of the Barley Mountains, arguably the prettiest landscape in Ethiopia. Here in the highlands, the wolf's staple diet is rodents. They are everywhere and grass rats make a tasty meal, but they live in a colony and are hyper vigilant. An easier meal can be found in the bigger, juicier giant mole rat. Living alone, these unusual looking rodents rarely stray far from the safety of their burrows. The wolves employ a range of tactics to get to the mole rats. Some try digging them out, while others use their long slender muzzles to reach into the burrow, which doesn't always work. Extreme patience is required, and eventually, the mole rat can't resist a leaf that's just out of range, and that's when the wolf strikes. Lunch at last. Number 10. Python Swallows Crocodile and Alligator When pythons and crocodilians meet, many factors will affect the outcome, such as size and the type of battlefield where the scuffle takes place, whether it takes place on land or in water. In our thumbnail, it looks like size is the determining factor, since the python is huge and the crocodilian is small, hence the snake swallows his enemy alive. The Burmese python is one of the largest snakes in the world. They can weigh close to 200 pounds and reach over 20 feet long, meaning no Everglades mammal is a match for its never-ending hunger. The snake will coil itself around its prey before swallowing it whole. Originally brought from Southeast Asia to the U.S. as pets, Enough have now escaped or were put back into the wild that these deadly predators have rapidly bred and are now moving closer and closer to Florida's residents. This python has started swallowing an alligator, and the entire animal is virtually within the snake's stomach. It will take some time for the snake to digest the alligator once it has swallowed it. You can see the clip from different angles as the python rolls over and eats his prey. Burmese pythons have a stable reproductive population in South Florida and are considered one of the Everglades' new apex predators. Top predators such as American alligators prey on a variety of reptiles, including pythons, daily. Any youngster and, in some situations, even an adult constrictor will be easily overpowered. In this video, it's obvious the alligator is no match for this python as the snake swallows the alligator whole. Number 9. Wild Dogs Hunt Warthog Watch as a warthog comes limping out of its burrow to meet wild dogs face to face in this video. Wild dogs on the prowl usually chase their prey and devour it in seconds, but not this time. This warthog decides to become the hunter and chases these wild dogs away. Divide and conquer, says the crazy warthog. In this video, warthogs had a tough time defending their baby from two curious wild dogs, and they were lucky that the wild dogs eventually lost interest and walked away. The warthogs in the previous two videos were lucky, but not the one in this video as it is snatched and cut to pieces by a hungry pack of wild dogs. The predators show no mercy as they slice and dice the warthog into bits and pieces to eat it as fast as they can. Number 8. Leopard Hunts Scrub Hare Wildlife enthusiasts were leaving the park via a gate when they came across a few cars stopped and the man filming initially thought it was traffic to exit the park. Upon asking, he was told there was a leopard hunting something. The leopardess crossed the road and started chasing a scrub hare and caught it, but the bunny escaped and ran towards the road, only to make the leopardess use her speed and catch it on the tar road. On a game drive in the northern Serengeti, a leopard named Mama Sayari, with only one good eye because her right eye was damaged by a zebra kick, discovers a scrub hare just a few feet in front of a safari vehicle, and within seconds, the big cat hits the hare like a bolt of lightning. A small hare runs right into a leopard's mouth because it is blinded by the car lights and doesn't see the mighty predator waiting for it. I guess it was the hare's time to say goodbye. 
Even though we may see many leopards hunting their prey during the day, leopards are nocturnal animals that do most of their hunting at night. Their large eyes and dilated pupils enable them to see well in low light. Leopards are renowned for their agility and climbing ability. They frequently carry food into trees to avoid their kill being stolen and eaten by scavengers such as lions and hyenas. Number 7. Snake Attacks Birds This snake is called the Iranian Spider-Tailed Viper because of its unique, elaborated, arachnid-like caudal structure. The snake, reported only in western Iran so far, uses its tail movements for defense and hunting. By moving the tip of the tail, the structure is reminiscent of a moving spider, luring potential prey. To be honest, that's what I thought it was when I first began watching the video. What a great illusion! No wonder the bird was fooled. The spider-tailed horned viper is a species of viper, a venomous snake in the family Viperidae. The species is endemic to western Iran and was originally described in 2006. The head looks very similar to that of other viper species in the region, but the spider-tailed horn viper has a unique tail that has a bulb-like end that is bordered by long drooping scales that give it the appearance of a spider. The tail is waved around and used to lure insectivorous birds to within striking range, just like the bird in this video, seen flying towards what he thinks is a spider he's going to have for lunch, but instead, he turns into a quick lunch for the snake. It's actually scary to watch the snake pounce on the bird. Number 6. Mink Hunts Fish Who needs a fishing rod and bait when you own a mink? This guy brought his mink on a fishing trip and the mink kept bringing him fish after fish. What's amazing about this is not the mink's amazing hunting abilities, but how he brings the fish back to his handler. You can see the mink underwater looking for fish. Even the dog is impressed when the mink comes out of the water with another fish. You can see the man using his camera to film the mink's activity underwater as his pet goes on another hunt. Once again, the mink grabs another big fish and pulls it out of the water. He stands on a rock wondering what to do with his kill. The mink must love doing this because he doesn't need to fight. All he needs to do is pull the fish out of the water and the job is done. The man just worries about filming and the fish keep coming in. The people filming this video were in Lake Tahoe watching and feeding trout when they saw a mink swim over to a large fish and attack it. They couldn't believe what they were seeing, but it was real. The mink in this video is having a blast catching fish on ice. You can see him stick his head out from underneath the dock where he seems to be finding fish. These small creatures are amazing hunters. There are only a few fish left in this pond and they know they are being hunted, so they must be careful. A hunt in deep water where a mink must swim freely is the most difficult for the animal. Not every mink possesses the same skills. Some are bird specialists and others specialize in small mammals and fish. However, even an untrained mink with healthy reflexes can catch fish in shallow water most successfully in caves where fish are hiding. So much for fish knowing they are in danger because they are doomed no matter what. Number 5. Cheetah Hunts Gazelle The most difficult aspect of a cheetah's quest for a gazelle is not killing the gazelle. After killing a prey, cheetahs must worry about other predators or scavengers, all bigger and stronger than they are, coming to steal their kill. The cheetah in this video scopes the area to make sure there isn't any danger and then drags his kill into the brush to eat it. This video is sad to watch. The cheetah hasn't killed its prey just yet but begins to dig into the animals behind while it's still alive. Usually, cheetahs kill their prey before eating. They never eat their prey alive, but as soon as the cheetah realizes the animal is still alive, it attacks the animal's neck one more time and we see the gazelle's eyes slowly fading, but it doesn't die. This is crazy. I have never seen an animal resist so long, and it's still breathing while the cheetah returns to eat it because it seems that the cat is too hungry to wait until the gazelle dies. A cheetah runs so fast, its legs might touch the ground only half the time when it's in motion. The gazelle is fast too, but is it fast enough? Indeed, it isn't, as the fast feline takes it down and kills it. Cheetahs on the run are at their best when hunting. If they don't make the kill during the chase and end up in a standstill with their prey, that's when things become more difficult for this amazing hunter. Number 4. Otter Attacks Snake In this video, a group of Asian small-clawed otters kills a non-venomous snake. When their mother was inadvertently slain by villagers, these otters were saved. 
they are being prepared for a life in the wild. Asian small clawed otters mate for life, with litters of pups nurturing the next generation. They could be found in mangroves, marshes, estuaries, rivers, and rice paddies. They are threatened by habitat degradation, bushmeat and fur hunting, and the illegal wildlife trade. These otters look like they are having a good time with this snake. The snake escapes the otter's grasp, but it is quickly scooped back up by the otter. This appears to be a park activity rather than a fight. A solitary otter is spotted playing with a dog-faced snake in a mangrove swamp in Singapore. It's very interesting to see the otter trying to catch the snake in a cat and mouse race, yet the otter doesn't bite to kill the snake straight away. Number 3. Honey Badger Attacks Python Honey badgers are unique animals that live in the bush and aren't afraid of anything, hence it doesn't surprise me to see the honey badger in this video up in a tree trying to eat a python. This is how nuts these honey badgers are. When the honey badger realized that the snake would not come to him, he went to the snake, even if it meant climbing a tree to get a bite. African honey badgers are brave, and this amazing safari sighting illustrates how much strength they possess relative to their size. The python in this video got more than it bargained for when it encountered the badger. The badger attacked this enormous serpent numerous times, moving swiftly and waiting for the ideal opportunity to strike before dragging it back to its den. This honey badger is eating a python alive. Was the python sick or injured to begin with? I don't know, but I doubt a healthy python would just open its mouth and lament itself without attempting to strike the honey badger. Even though these snakes are not venomous, they still pack a mean bite. Number 2. Dog Attacks Raccoon I can't believe how brave this raccoon is, when he has no other choice but to fight a large German Shepherd. A few scuffles later, the raccoon escapes by climbing a tree. In this video, the raccoon is already in big trouble after a vicious dog grabs it on the side of its body and mangles it. I'm not sure if the raccoon survived because the video ended before we saw the outcome, but the way the dog was holding it, even if it survived, it was bound to have a few scrapes and bruises. A man heard his dog barking as he was at his neighbor's house. A raccoon came into his yard, ignoring his barking shepherd. Then the unthinkable happened as the raccoon proceeded to go through the fence to face the shepherd. It climbed up a tree, fell out of the tree, hit the shepherd, and was then grabbed by the dog, but dropped, so he managed to climb the tree back to safety. It's obvious that this fat raccoon is overfed because he looks like he lives here and is having a blast with his new puppy friend. I'm surprised this raccoon can still run with so much extra weight to carry. Number 1. Opossum Attacks Skunk It's late at night when a skunk decides to annoy an opossum minding his business, but when the opossum has enough, he decides to body slam the skunk. The skunk backs up and decides he's no longer interested. This opossum's name is Elvis, and he does not like to share his treats with Broken Line, the skunk, and he demonstrates his anger by taking a big bite into the skunk's butt. The skunk moves away slightly, but it doesn't deter him from the food. I guess when you're hungry, you're hungry. And besides, aren't these two friends? An opossum and a skunk are engaged in a fierce battle right next to a dumpster, which makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, the person filming seems drunk, so the camera work is all over the place. Many of these videos were wild and entertaining, but I still can't get over how that gazelle did not want to die. I honestly felt bad watching it resist. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.